uh, this morning is our, uh, I intended to have anointing service since yesterday. But I'm a pastor that I don't just do a thing because I feel like doing it. I always want a signal from heaven. And this morning, the Lord was saying to me, are you in a hurry more than me? It started yesterday. So we will complete all the pillars before we have an anointing service. Amen. Somebody say, why? It was after Samuel. It was after Saul, when Saul was looking for his ass. It was after Samuel have shown the word of the Lord that he made an anointing. Not before. Because knowledge, the, sorry, anointing is to empower knowledge received. That's how it works. When somebody is anointing you, it must not be on empty stomach. It must not be on empty mind. Anointing is to empower what? Knowledge received. You don't send an organization an empty letterhead, right? And you stamp empty letterhead and send it to an organization. You know, it makes no meaning. But after you have written some things of important on the letterhead, what do you do? You carry the seal or the stamp and stamp it to authenticate it. So anointing is to authenticate knowledge. So we'll continue till we finish on the subject of breaking financial hardship. Breaking financial hardship. And in that series of teaching, as I recapitulate them, the one that we have had in a few minutes, we have established the following in case you are joining us for the first time. Why should you say a Christian will be prosperous? Why? Why? People even get angry. Why does church talk about money? Pastor Horace have just read in his welcome charge. Without prosperity, there is no spreading of the gospel. I was telling Mama last week, I was driving into this compound at around 10 or 11. And there is, a, I think they are Hindu, I don't know which society. If you just pass where they sell water here, a bit down. There is a beautiful compound there owned by some community. And they, they had their meeting last week. I think maybe on Wednesday. And from, is it Sanana? Somewhere called Sanana there. To this last corner and their compound were full of cars. All kind of cars. There were no Prado. Much. Maybe inside, there were no V8. You know, Asians don't buy those big cars. Are you aware? If you see them buying it, they were just trying to reduce their taxes. Otherwise, they don't, they don't buy big, big car like, like us. You know, a natural Luo man want, until he has V8. <laughs> Even if you will pack it in the front of a rented house, it doesn't matter. But they are not like that. You will see them in Premierio, Alion, small cars. But the cars were polished area and all the cars were lined up. And the Lord said to me, look around. And I slowed down. I looked at the compound. The compound was full. They parked on every street. And the Lord reminded me how that place came to be. It wasn't there before. That place was directly opposite my house where I lived before. So I know it. But within a short time, they bought the property demolish the one that is there and they put what they want. I, I think whether they come to eat there, I don't know what they come to do because it's not a full temple. 
And the Lord said to me, you know why they were able to do it? He said, they have the means. He said, this is why I said, my kingdom shall be spread through prosperity. Please, anybody cheating you, that, oh, don't go to a church because they talk of money. If they don't talk of money, should they be talking about coffee? That person is an ignorant person. That person is a devil preparing you to be a food for Satan. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. They are liars. Any preacher that tells you money is not good is a liar. You know I'm one of them. I'm one of the preachers. So I know our secret. Many of them have invested in great things. And their family are comfortable. Don't let them mislead you. 1992, shortly after I was ordained, I was posted to a mission as a mission assistant before my ordination. And I was preaching in the marketplace there. And then uh, after the preaching, I went through the ho house to house. Then I came to one house and I met some Muzungu there. And they knew I was preaching, so they welcomed me. They were also missionary anyway. And then we started preaching. They said, oh yeah, you are winners, Chapu. You are this, you are that. And we have been looking for opportunity to engage you. And that day, the holy anger in me, you want to engage me? Do you think because you are white, you are right? No. Let's schedule a time to meet. So we, In fact, I told them we can meet now. So they said, why does your church preach prosperity? Jesus was born in a manger. I allowed them to say all their nonsense. Then I asked them, one question, we close the discussion. I say, in this city, where in this village where all of us are, who live in the best house? Because they are the one, there is only one bomb brick house. And they are the one living inside, not even the king. So I ask them, why are you living here if you don't believe in prosperity? Why don't you live the way I live? I sleep inside the church. Why don't you also be sleeping in, in church? Don't let anybody deceive you. Nobody can be more righteous on money than God. God said he take pleasure in the prosperity of his people. When you don't prosper, all you are giving God is pleasure. Many of you are here. When last did you wake up and just dance? Heavenly, lay your life. And just dance and dance. No, every time you wake up, Lord, you know my hair is due. Lord, you know my rent is over. <laughs> Instead of dancing before God, you are giving him what? Pressure. And it's not your fault. It's because you lack. So God said in his word, he take pleasure in the prosperity of his people. He take pleasure. He take pleasure. You see how, I love teaching and showing you what is happening. You see how the, the central, they are rejoicing. You know why they are rejoicing? One of their own has been picked. They, those who are celebrating Mata Karuana, they were not celebrating him her before. He doesn't have that cloud before. You know why they are celebrating? One man, one shilling, and one vote. Because they are aware that it's a matter of time. BBI will resurface. It will what? Because the court has made a great mistake that is the process that is wrong, but not the idea. Prosperity is good. That you don't have it does not mean you can never get it. That's why we I'm taking my time to talk about this subject in a different dimension from what we have had before. Prosperity is good. Packing your car and lock it and you know nobody can take it is good. 
Driving a car and know that the car is bulletproof gives you extra confidence. Get into your dining table and bite chicken, hostel, and you know, checking different items is nice. So nice. Get into a good office and you feel home. You find sense of worldliness. It's nice. Turning your television on and watch whichever station you like is good than to be hitting the remote on your hand because there is no battery. <laughs> so by the time the program starts, your hand is paining you. I saw one television, you own it with your voice. The one in my office, you own it with your hand. Then you just carry remote as if you are, you are, you are a herbalist. <laughs> just wave your hand. He recognizes your shadow and he turns on. That's a nice one. Please, you see, whatever you pretend to hate, you never attract. There are too many pretenders in the church. Stop pretending you hate prosperity. If prosperity is bad, why will God make where he's gathering the saints to be a street with gold? God knows there are carpet. God knows there are, there are, what do they call this thing? Interlock. He didn't make the seat of heaven with interlock. He made it with gold. Love prosperity. Amen. Can I hear you louder, amen? amen? I've been looking for 58 million and you are telling me people have money is not good. If you have you are more than 58, if all of you can drop one, one million, we are done all this long. That's what happened to those Asians. The other day, I was, we were living with one, you remember that our neighbor, when we were looking for land, when we were making, we said, I've seen one in Shansu and it's just 50 million. That's what he said, you remember? He said, and it's just 50 million. And I've seen your congregation. You are so many in Makilingo there. Just tell all of them to bring two, two million. My, my wife can see me. He was my neighbor. And you know what he said? He said, he said because that is what we do in the temple. He said, I just, my priest, just, they just call few of us because we need to raise about 100 million. And I've just given my own five million. You can't give what you don't have. You can't. You can't. You can't give what you don't have. How will you have? It begins with admiration. Stop pretending you don't like poverty, wearing long beard to cover your shame. Stop. I told my son, why do you keep long hair? Why do you keep beer all over the places? I say you are trying to distract people from success. <laughs> Go and shave, my friend. You know those young young boys, you know why they put their trousers? Just to distract you not to see their poverty. There is nothing there. You know why they wear jeans that is dirty and the one that is rag like they are semi-mad madness? Is to distract us. You see, when you don't have it, you will look for all gimmick to cover it. Rich men don't look for swag. All this wearing jeans and it's dirty is a lie. You are poor. It's poverty. It's not, there's, not, there's nothing about it. You see, when I get to a place, I don't look for what to create attention. I'm an attention. I'm what? And that is what I want to keep on growing. Your influence should be natural. It's not what you seek for by cutting your beard like a pussy card, like you know, nonsense. Praise God. Tell, tell the youth next to you and say, I hope you are hearing the real thing. <laughs> praise God. I said, praise God. Because that's the foundation of prosperity. You need to admire it. You become what you admire. You don't attract what you purported to hate. You don't. 
I remember one day I was talking to Langat. We were talking about buying the property where Moy University is now. It belongs to him. And I said, no, pastor, let the church members, let them just give some amount. You see, I'm the one who know the church. They don't know the church. So just call a few members and then we are done with, it was 47 million then. 47. You see, those who don't have backbite, trust you me, if you don't have money, chances are you will be a backbiter. Because those who have are in the front and you are at the back. You will run commentary on them. Unpaid commentary. Bishop Oedeko said he's building a, what do they call it? Says so building is it, is it, what do they call it? They have a name for it. Is it theater or what? Ark. Is it Ark? I think it's, it's, that's what they are building. When he announced, one man said, ah, I'm so happy I'm alive. And he gave one billion. Another one gave, and they have no raised suffering. When you have, you don't wait for others. See, when somebody take you for a dinner and you don't have money, you are a gentleman. The menu will come. You become a fool. You don't know whether to open it. <laughs> but when you can afford it, you call for it. Because if he mess you up, you pay for his own. Please, you need money. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, you need money. You need money. Say it one more time. Say it louder. Say it one more time. I saw, the, I saw it in my children. I think about, what, is it last month? They were all around during Easter. And I told, let's go for lunch. None of them consult me on what they pick. That is not natural them. Before as they pick something, they will look at my eyes. <laughs> but this time around, you know I study human behavior. If there were, the doctors was not there anyway. None of them consult me before they pick what they wanted. You know why? Papa D can pay for everybody. They were just feel free. And I believe the doc, uh, Deborah felt, my brothers are here. If this man is harsh here, <laughs> <laughs> my brother will just bail me out. Nobody consulted me or they call for what they wanted. Nothing make you independent like finance. The greatest freedom, apart from being free from sin, is to be free from poverty. So it was a privilege I was paying for them because they can afford it. Church must get out of pretense. And face reality. Do you know when people know you have, they begin to look for opportunity to give you? It's when people know you don't have that, they, they delay you and ask you so many questions. When people truly know you have, they count it a privilege to be a blessing to you. Just like I mentioned, I'm going to, in Bishop Paul, the, the organizer said, Pastor, we know you have a house in Nairobi, but will we be privileged to put you in a hotel? We want to, we want to accommodate you in a hotel. And I told them, no, 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 I will stay in my house. You, you see, you are so relaxed. I told them I will stay in my house. Then after five minutes, I changed my mind. I said, no, I'm coming to the hotel. <laughs> because I, I realized I have forgotten uh, uh, Mombasa Road. It's, a, it's, a, it's another story. I remember if I'm going to minister there, I'll be spending roughly four hours for free on the road. I said, no, 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 no. I will stay in the hotel. Because Stanley is just closer. Or like oh, they are just you see what if actually when I stay there we walk to their church. If we don't carry car, we just walk across 
old mutual, and then we are in the church. When God, when even, even demon, when he knows you have, he stops troubling you. Because he's looking for who will, pay, who will feel the pain of his poison. I pray for you today that you'll be sincere to yourself. Amen. Wealth is good. Amen. Wealth is what? It's, please tell your neighbor very well because he's pretending not to talk. Tell him wealth is good. So that's why we decided to go to the root. The words we are talking about a believer started as a heritage. As what? A her it's an inheritance. We have just read it say gold and silver they are mine. So if God is your father, you have a heritage of divine prosperity. He gave it to Abraham. Abraham passed it to Isaac. Isaac passed it to Jacob. Jacob, it was passed and passed until he reached our Lord Jesus Christ. And our Lord Jesus Christ passed it to us. First Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9. It was passed to us. And the first people that received it was the apostle. And the Bible said they lack nothing. He said, for ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. So one of the grace, among many graces that function in the life of Jesus, is grace of abundance. Amen. I thought I would hear a better amen. amen. I said, I thought I would hear a better amen. amen. Do you know everything treats you from your point of wealth? Are you aware? Everything in life tend to address you from your point of prosperity. Everything. Police don't check every car. Are you aware? They check the small, small one. <laughs> check when you are passing, where there are checking points. Except there is a crackdown. Otherwise, vids, notes, probos, Picky picky. Uh, what is this three legged one? <laughs> tuk tuk. <laughs> As if they are the only criminal. If you are poor, Satan make you a criminal. <laughs> I can't remember when anybody tell me at the airport, come down, we check your car. No, not even in Nairobi. Not even Nairobi. That's why your appearance matter. How are you, sir? How? They change their mind. How come they see you, they look at your eyes, how red this it is? <laughs> Say, this one has a parent. <laughs> Let's add to his affliction. They know where the thieves are. <laughs> Everything in life addresses you from the point of where? Of prosperity. Isaac prosper. Jesus prosper. Gave it to the disciple. The disciple prosper. And now here you and I. We are also given the heritage. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was rich. Yet for your sake he became poor. For what purpose? That you. Look at your neighbor and say you. Tell him you were prosperous before you were born. Because the work was done over 2,000 years ago. Your prosperity was here before you arrived. Let nobody cheat you. That you, through his poverty, might be rich. That means every believer have heritage of wealth. That's what we are talking about. And we are saying this heritage, you sign up into it by your giving. I'll be talking about giving on Sunday next week. You sign up by what? By your giving. You assess the platform by giving. Sorry, after salvation, you assess to operate on the platform by your giving. 
But listen, it doesn't stop at giving. That's why many Christians are poor. They are giver, but they are not worker. So it is from one thing to another, to another, to another. Your giving brought you to the platform, signed you up on the platform, but your working creates a channel of return. There must be something you are doing. God does not bless money. He bless the work of our hand. We saw it in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 7. You must have what you are doing. Somebody say yeah, he was praying to God that God should bring money so that he could be able to honor his commitment to Simasako. And he was looking for about 100 or 80. And all of a sudden, gave, God gave her over 600,000. But through what? Through the works of your hand. There is no prosperity provision for an idler. Church, I hope you are hearing me. There is, God has no prosperity provision for someone who is lazing around, moving from one house to another. Today you sleep here, tomorrow you sleep another, when you are not a cat, you are not a packer. Ha. Today you sleep in uh, this person's house, Today, tomorrow you go and sleep there. And you would have audacity to try their clothes. When they are not around, you wear one. And then when the owner of the house comes, you say, can I take this? For how long will you do that? There is dignity in labor. There is nothing any man own that if you follow your lineage principle, you can own better. Are we together? So, salvation is not the end, it's not the it's not the end of the road of prosperity. Salvation lead you and demand that you are walking. Have you posed the scripture for me? Yes. He said the Lord shall command the blessing, the blessing, the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto. He shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God give thee. Verse 9. He said, the Lord shall establish thee a holy people unto himself. That may poverty make you unholy. As he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandment of the Lord thy walk and walk in his way. God the Father is a walker. God the Son is a walker. So where did you inherit idleness? Where? Where did you get it from? God the Father is a worker. He created heaven and earth. He is a worker. He is not a wisher. He is a worker. God the Father is a worker. John chapter 5 verse 17. Jesus said, my father walk and I walk hitherto. There is dignity in laboring. Stop sleeping watching television. <laughs> Larry King is the one that made me to hit television for long. After he has talked, talked, and I know how much he earned in his heyday. He's heavily paid as a presenter in CNN. Then he say, don't go anywhere. <laughs> me not to go anywhere. <laughs> I should be watching you. What a foolishness. Say, don't even. He will say, don't even touch the remote. Who are you to command me? <laughs> I'm the one who paid the electricity. Now <laughs> like the king said, don't go anywhere. Stay there. Why I make money on top of you? Before you, because you being added to be viewer, increase their rating. And you are there. 
I can't remember when I watched full news. Ah! That was more than 10, 15 years that I, Wally Joseph, sat down and watched full news. What are you saying? No. The whole of my house, you know, when I pick my remote, I go to YouTube, see what they are saying. Select. Only a poor man eat everything. Select this one. I want to hear that one. I don't want to hear. Somebody has, has, has killed her husband. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to watch. I select and I move on. If you keep on watching television, when will you tell your own vision? When will your generation watch you? Walking, walking. Walking, walking, walking. And we define walking as what? The action of being involved in activity mentally or physically in a bid to make something of value, to achieve a well-defined result. You are involved in one thing. Like today, somebody came here, led opening prayer. Another one came, sang the hymn. Now, it was my turn. So, I am involved in turning out today's service to be powerful. There must be something you are involved in delivering. Some of you are Christian are praying, oh Lord, bring money. Drunkards are making money than Christian. Because it's not every time he's drunk. You are idling over all over the places and you are saying there is no job. There is job. Is your listener that is not available? We have one boy we use in our house. He's a rider. Is it Ben? I'm never hearing his name. Ben. Mama Ben. Delight. Ben. Ben. Where are you? Ben. He's the one that run around. He's the one that supply food for Delight. Go to town and come back. Is how much? 300. With scooter. Peace. He has gone. P has returned. And as he's running your own, he's running somebody else's own. Stop looking for job in municipal. It's a sign of madness. There is nothing working there. They are sharing money. And you don't have position that will make the money to reach you. Be a problem solver. He solved the problem for delight. I've never, I don't know him. But I've heard this name so much. Ben, where are you? Ben, I'm, I don't know how much he made from my family. Because it is more economical for mama to sit down and do her work than to because of 300 and go to town and return. So where are you fitting in in the economy of your nation? You have to fit in. You are either a product producer or you are a service what? Provider. Stop sitting on the fence. Get out there and get yourself involved. And do you know the beauty of it? If you can't create jobs, somebody have created one. Comply to the condition. So we must be working. This is a total package. And then we move from Walking, W-O-R-K-I-N-G, to walking. You must be taking step in line with scripture. You must walk in truth. The scripture must be what is detecting the step you take. It's a right done prosperously because of truth. And your right hand will teach you terrible things. Stop saying you are looking for certain job. That's not what the truth say. The truth say, when you can't get what you want, whatsoever your hand find that doing, do it with all your might. Let me tell you, nothing called job that will bring it to your life that all the conditions are perfect. If it's perfect, they won't look for you. There is a donkey they want you to keep. It's a new day. So we end up with talking, walking, walking, walking. 
He told Abraham, I promise you wealth. I promise you greatness. In chapter 17, walk thou before me and be perfect. Walk thou. Don't look for money by making order to cry. Stop stealing and calling it wealth. Only what the truth build will last. Take step along scripture. Take step. Be spiritual. Because all your blessings are in spiritual places. Be spiritual. Have a testimony like that of Joseph, like that of, ja uh, like that of Jacob. That where you are, since you arrived there, the company started going up. Amen. Have that testimony. I say it live. My leader, they see, listen to me. They see, watch me. <laughs> the day I was living, I was crying. As big as that my mentor is, Bishop Oedipo, he was also shedding tears. I was not alone there. Mama was there. Bishop Abiyo was there. His wife was there. He excused his wife to go. And he looked at me and said, Wally, I'm only letting you go because of destiny. Otherwise, I won't let you go. And he told me, go back to Elori. Go and take your paper. A son does not resign. I have no resignation letter. He actually said, he said, I'll pray for you that all shall be well in Kenya. But in case there is a challenge, you have your place here. Don't walk in a place and you left there doing Thanksgiving. Like Demo has left. <laughs> That's not. Did you see how Laban was begging? He was begging Jacob and said, bring new wages. Did you hear how Joseph, how Pharaoh acknowledged that since Joseph, he said, all that I had is made possible because of you. The same testimony is what, what, uh, who is, what is name? Is what Laban has. That should be your testimony. Yeah. Oh, this one they kick you out. It's because you are not a value adder. Nonsense. Said, oh, you know I'm a loo. They don't love me. It's a lie. There is no leader who doesn't love a worker. I work where the Muzungu was the overall manager. She was my boss. I think his, his name is, her name is Madonna, yes. I will never forget. And because I go for lunch hour, she was just angry. Every day lunch hour, every day lunch hour. No, 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 no. And then he had my salary. He doesn't know I was not living by salary. I asked Akata, where's my salary? They said, the manager have held it. I said, okay, let her be spending it. First week, second week, I don't know how the thing reached the director. And the director used my office when he come to the complex. And then she asked me, by the way, she called me Abdul. By the way, Abdul, I heard that McDonough have heard your salary. I said, yes, auntie, I don't know why. She said, don't mind her. Bring my hand back. <laughs> how much is your salary? She gave me double. After I collected the double, I went for <laughs> He said, is that, why didn't you your salary? Why didn't he say I fire you? She knows what I bring on table. Nobody will value you more than the value you bring on table. Amen. When she had, then I went. I said, I've come to collect myself. He said, but I thought they said auntie gave you some money. I said, is that your business again? <laughs> did it, did it, so where is the voucher I signed? Because I signed, not, I signed nothing. I signed nothing. He just said, bring me my bag. How much your salary? He can't times two and give me. I didn't sign anything. The gift of a man will make room for him. You are no roomless. Amen. Can I hear you louder? Amen. Amen. I've seen it in ministry. I was in Lagos Church when we were coming to East Africa, 1997. Me and Mama were there for a whole year, or a whole one month, right? And when they pay salary in Lagos office, they never pay me. And I don't blame them. Because I'm not there on their payroll. And then the day we, go, we, went, we were going to airport to go to Addis. 
and we didn't make it. And God said, I'm you should talk with me. And when I arrived his office, he told me, no, it, uh, I, I wanted you to go to Addis, but it's like your destiny is in Kenya. So don't worry, relax until we get the correct signal. And he said, I hope you have been paid. I said, not yet, Papa. He opened his bag. Give me times two. <laughs> times two of my salary. From his bag, I signed no voucher. This one, they can do without you where you walk. Put a question mark. This one, you travel and people, and they don't feel you. Is there any way they could forget Jesus? Everybody wants him in his house. We have seen it in media. Some people, you don't even know which media, until we lost track of where they walk because of their excellency. Please, children of God, it is time to put on the nature of your father. Amen. God is a worker and you must also be a worker with value. Amen. A worker with what? Value. With value. Bring value on the table in the company you work. You must not be the one carrying play card. I to I I what nonsense. You mustn't be among those who are forming nonsense. Or oh, one of my son came here to say there was on one of you know. I said, Covenant children don't join union. Protest. No, you don't have a protesting destiny. You have a glorious destiny Amen. that manifests itself by what you bring on table. So if you are in any union, you are just there for formality. But you don't depend on them for your rising. Can I hear your louder amen? amen? And today, we'll be looking at thinking. Hallelujah. Thinking. And I will stop there. On thinking, thinking, thinking. Nothing turn around any venture. More than thoughts. Thinking. If you are not a thinker, you will stink. You will smell life horror, except you are a thinker. If you are not a thinker, no amount of money will be enough for you. You hear people say, my salary is not enough. It's a lie. It's your thinking that is not enough. <laughs> thinking. As where service was going on, I look at dictionary definition. I didn't just want to give you the spiritual one of thinking. He said, the process of considering or reasoning about something. The process of considering or reasoning about something. That's dictionary. I think it's Oxford. You know, God says, as far as your eyes can see, I will give to you. I'm also here to tell you. That your vision, your thought, your prayer, they carry equal weight. Your vision, your thinking, and your prayer, they carry what? Equal it. You heard what the official said. He said, Unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we think or ask. You see, Philippian? Unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we think or ask. That means our prayer life. Is as potent as our thinking life. Post those scripture.
A woman came to me some years back. We were sacked for, there used to be a bank called Kenya Reb. Eh? Huh? Kereb. She was sacked there as a manager. I know most of those bank managers, not all of them are graduates. Are you aware? Many of them train on job. So it's only the bank they work for have the recognize their qualification. So she was those who were enjoying the fat salary and was not doing much. And she came to me when she was beaten, battered. And he said, Pastor, I am dying. Life is hard. I can't pay for my rent. I don't know what to do. Pray for me. Things are tight. Auctioneer is coming. I don't have money. And I'm seeing money in my front. So after she narrated, I said, your case doesn't need prayer. And you have money. She said, no, Pastor, I can show you my bank account. You see, on this side are gold ring. On this other side, they are there. There are five fingers, gold. You tie another one on the leg. <laughs> After she finished, I, said, I told her, I said, this earring, they are money. That's why I see some people is watching television in his house and he says he has no job. Sell the television. Church have done a lot of prayer warriors, word warriors, fasting warrior, but we don't engage thinking warrior. I came to realize earlier hour of today that every problem, if the solution is not inside you, it's around you. Whatever you call problem, if the solution is not inside you, it's just around you. When her guy was crying, her guy was crying that his, her child is about to die, the solution was just around her. At around the same time was when an old woman also came with a similar problem and I cancelled that woman. And I, eventually she established somewhere in the front of Nenu Evangelism in town. And that's the woman selling Coca-Cola there. You have five deep prisons and you say you have no money. Sell three you get money to buy the soda. When the business pick up, you replay the, the coolers. The woman came to man of God and was crying. Man of God said, the oil is in the house. There is an oil in your house. Amen. But how will you discover the oil? Thoughts. Through thinking. Everybody looking for a job. There is employment either inside them or where? Around them. Every money you are looking for is, is, is either is inside you or around you. God will never put your treasure in another person's heart. Because you know the person doesn't owe you ever abiding presence. He put all your solution inside you and you draw them out by engaging in productive thought. No, I tell everything open. Eh? I don't hide anything because I know you will sniff for them. You know the Bible says, all men sought the heart of the leader. So I know anything I'm doing. You will sniff till you get the answer. So I don't let you sniff. I tell you life. So that you can reserve your energy. <laughs> what is Pastor Wally of to? No, don't worry. Just come to service. <laughs> you will hear it live. Productive 
ten king. You know what the Bible say? It said there is a treasure in the dwelling of the poor. Post, be posting those scriptures eh, so that they write it down. When we get to heaven, God will check their book and say, I told them. There is what? There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but the foolish man spend it all. There is oil. So the foolish man have access to the oil. But he spent it. The, 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 the wise one kept it. Give the second one that says something similar. That one referred to it as the tillage. The estate where you live. Look at what they say. It says much food. Is where? It's in the tillage of the poor. But there is that is destroyed for want of judgment. You know judgment there means thinking. Want of thinking. Want of thinking. Want of thinking. Want of thinking. You are driving a car. You have no oil. You have no petrol. And you are begging for petrol. Are you mad? And you say you have no job. What stops you from waking up very early in the morning? Pick five passengers and drop them in, a, in, in Malindi and return. Hmm? Much what? Much food. Tell your neighbor, much food. Look at him and say, there is enough food for you. In the tillage of the poor. But still, some are destroyed for what? Want of judgment. Give us another translation. NIV or message. It's a bank. <laughs> bank for clothes <laughs> on the farm of the poor. Or as the poor loses their shirt. To <laughs> Life lawyers. And <laughs> <laughs> NIV, NIV. A poor man's feed may produce abundant food, but injustice sweep it away. Want of judgment. Want of judgment. When I bought my Prado, I use it for about one year. Is it one year or two years? Two years. And I ask myself, do I really need this car? It's just parked there. You know, I always tell people, when you want to buy a car, there are five people's car you must look for. The car of a pastor. We want to buy second hand. The car of a judge. They don't go anywhere. You know, they've judged all the cases. <laughs> so they are ever indoor. It's very difficult to see a judge in bad day party. They don't move around. And when he get to office, he park the car, he enter the official one. Look for the car of a judge. The next car to look for is a doctor. They don't go anywhere. He can be with one patient in the theater for eight hours. Don't look for the car of evangelists. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much he anointed. Because he has been everywhere. All the bush. Don't look for car of a salesman. Ah! The sock absorber are gone. So I asked myself, what is this car doing here? And the last time I learned in my little accounting knowledge, every car depreciated by 25%. Okwiri, am I correct? That's street knowledge. So every year the car depreciated by what? 25%. And it's just 25% sitting down. From there I engaged the car to do something else. Yesterday I was paid 250000 for somebody who needs the car. How much? 
How much? So when you see me wearing good suit, this is not a box. <laughs> and if all go well, in July he will pay another 300,000. Add them together. How much? 550,000. I know they still owe. Not thinking that they do. <laughs> I know they still owe. Not thinking that they do. I know they push cocaine. I push the gospel. I think last week somewhere there, somebody took it for three days. He brought me 33,000. Is it not better I enjoy to cook also? <laughs> and the money is coming for me. <laughs> if you hear a bishop has a jet, especially in Nigeria, they know what they are doing. Those jets are not for fun. Why will a pastor have four jets? He knows what he's doing. They pack them in the airport. When they are not using it, somebody else hire it. All those choppers you see, they are hired. Nobody will buy chopper and pack it. Never. They hire it out. You have a car, all you do is to put your wife and your wife put his hand on the, on the door. And to worsen it, you are even fighting inside the car. <laughs> Please think. Tell your neighbor, think. If you don't think... You will stink. A poor man's feed may produce abundant food, but injustice sweep it away. He's not wise. He's not a thinker. He will not secure it. So they will come with all manner of law and sweep it off him. But that will not be your portion anymore. Amen. Let me give you my own biblical definition of thinking. Thinking. Thinking can be defined as the action of engaging, action of engage in coordinated thought for productivity. The action of engaging in coordinated thought if you like, for increased productivity. You coordinate your thoughts to increase your productivity. That is thinking. You can also define it as, it's almost the same, as ability to coordinate thought productively. For an increased output. You coordinate your thought. You remember the one we read? It said consider it thing or reasoning about something. You coordinate your thought. Therefore, that brings adjustment to the first uh, principle working. Walking alone does not make rich. Otherwise, the casual laborer on the construction side will be richer than the structural engineer on the same side. So, it is wise work that make rich. You are working wisely. How many of you know construction site? Where they are building houses. How many of you? Let me see your hand. I want to be sure. Now, when you get there, physically speaking, those who are doing casual, they seem to be working harder. You see cement all over their body. If those people slap you, my God, you will hardly recover because the hand is like concrete. But here come one man they call structural engineer. When he come to the side, they put umbrella on his head. And when he come, he just walk around, walk around. Then he asks for his diary. 
And then on the diary, he signed. The last time I checked, many years ago, it's about 15,000. Mama, you just built. How much is it now? Okay, negotiable, but it should be around 15 now. Because yeah. many years when we were building, we know it was 5,000. Ah, I scream. You walk in here and walk out. And they say, that's what the law says. If you do professionally, it can't be less than 15. But the man that has been carrying wheelbarrow since morning, and to carry it very well, he take a, a little roll of bangi. Besides a red, he tied the, 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 what, the, the paper bag and the cement as head high. At the end of the day, they gave him 1,000. Because his work does not involve coordinated activity. On the same side, the foreman is well paid. The more mind involved the higher you are paid. The more your mind is engaged in what you are doing, the higher you are paid. Is it not high time for church to begin to engage in productive thinking? There is no problem of life that you cannot think through. There is no problem of life that you cannot think through. There is no problem of life that you cannot think through. So, walking alone does not make rich. It is coordinated work that guarantees productivity and therefore creates wealth. So, it is wise work that makes wealth. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 15. He said, the labor of the foolish will at every one of them because they do not know how to go to the city. Therefore, we can therefore say wisdom is the father of all wealth. How wise you are will determine how rich you become. Because the, the richest God got it by wisdom. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13 to 19. You live in an estate. You have a provost. That's a good thing. And you have a frontage. That's a good thing. You can make money on Saturday. Cool money. Just drive along Malindi Road. Where any market. Day. Arrive there early. Get all the tomato that is there. At a cheaper price. Bring it to the front of your house. Your wife will sell them. No money smell its source. As we are growing up, the moment I had a car, till today, Kyogura, you are here. You see part of me. In Oshogbo, I was giving a Mercedes Benz for as official as my car. When I travel, that month we spend less because we buy food item on the road. They are cheaper in those days. But you know, villagers are wiser now. It can even be more costly. But there is somewhere where it's cheaper. Get there, get for yourself. And from favor you are made available for order, you get money to buy rice. Everywhere you see human being, there is wealth. 
Because every human being on earth has a need. Look for how to meet their need. Then they will give you their money for free. Are we talking? Are we talking? Everybody around you, that is what they are looking for. Get it for them. Then you will get what you need that is in their pocket. I was telling Mama Mary the other day, I said, let's go to Nigeria and start a school. The standard of education in Kenya in lower school is not in Nigeria. That's the truth. We beat you in our tertiary institutions. But primary school, secondary school, Kenya is far, 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 far ahead of Nigeria. But I don't know where we beat you sometime. But when we start our tertiary institution, Wow. That's where we beat you. In Kenya, the moment their girl enters school, he controls the father. Why in Nigeria, the moment you enter tertiary institution, <laughs> it is you chasing life, not your father chasing you. In primary school, you may not even be able to write letter. Your parent doesn't care. In fact, they will say, why are we wasting money on this one? So education, if you want to invest, go and invest in education in Nigeria. You will make hell of money. You want to make money, go to Nigeria and invest in real estate. The kind you are doing here, you will make hell of money. Be a thinker. Be a thinker. Five of you ever got a taking service that are never printed. Why don't five of you gather and put money together to generate economy activity? It is the knowledge of how that help us to get better result. In all field of endeavor, the knowledge of how that help us to get what? Better result in all field of endeavor. Thinking. Now look at what it says. Happy is the man that find that wisdom. Why is he happy? Because of the product of wisdom. He say, and the man that get it, get it what? Understand it. For the merchandise of knowledge and which is wisdom is better than merchandise of sliver. If you are wise, you are better than a man running biru the change. Why? He said, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies. And all the things that thou can desire are not to be compared unto her. That's wisdom. Length of day is in her right hand. And in her left hand, riches and honor. Where did we stop? Go ahead, verse 17. Her ways are way of pleasant, pleasantness, and all her part are peace. Verse 18. She's a tree of life to them that lay hold on her, and her peace, everyone that retained her. The Lord, by wisdom, has founded the earth, and by understanding, he has established the heaven. So all that you see on earth are product of wisdom. All the diamond in Congo, all the oil in Nigeria, they are all made by wisdom. Psalm 104. Psalm 104. And verse 24. Psalm 104. He said, bless the Lord. Sorry, that's verse 1, verse 24. Oh Lord, how manifold are thy works. You know, I told you, work alone is not enough. God work with wisdom. He said, in wisdom thou hast made them all. The art is full of riches. So, that's why I started by saying, God is the father of wealth. So all what you need to do is to engage our mind. Somebody say, what is the relationship between wisdom and thinking? Let me give it to you now. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 24, it says Jesus Christ is what? 
is the wisdom and the power of God. John chapter 1, verse 1 to 5. He said, nothing was made without the word. Now, this Jesus live on your inside. This wisdom that creates riches live where? On our inside. So why are we poor? We are poor because we don't engage that wisdom in productive thinking. We don't engage him. He's there. He can create the word you are looking for, but you have never engaged him. You have never coordinated his thought to arrive to an increase in your productivity. Productive thinking. No child of God is permitted to be poor. He said, greater is he that is in you than the devil that is in the world. So the devil is not the reason why we are poor. It is what we carry that we don't engage. I saw two people in the Bible that never pray. There's no account they pray. But they became prosperous. One was the prodigal son. He never prayed. He never. Please, Christian, we have prayed enough. Tell your neighbor we have prayed enough. Tell him we have fasted enough. Let's add to our fasting. Thinking. You know, you know, in Africa, we are trying to compete with the white and we are not thinker. If I'm in the U.S., I will not buy the latest machine. I will just take this one there and they will give me a new one at a reduced price. You have sister in the U.S., all you do is send me money. Can I receive something, some through waves? You are ever waving. Until let me see something through wave. No, you are not a thinker. Tell auntie to help you check where they are selling second hand shoes. Look for money and bring one container. We are not thinker. I get angry when people are looking for my money. I'm not blessing you by giving you money. I should give you what is helping me to make the money. There's one brown man on the street, you see. A ranch shell. I think, I think he's into drugs. I'm one of those who can't sell him. Stop. I told him, stop asking me for money. Can you start selling biscuits? How many of you have noticed he sells biscuits? Buy something as you are on the road here and sell. Many will look at your appearance and look at your effort and they give you money without color change. Be a thinker. Be a thinker. Don't be a consumer. Be a thinker. Be a thinker. You, you don't have job and you are watching television. Who will pay the bill? The electricity bill. You are already on minus and you are minusing, minusing. Carry the TV and sell it. <laughs> sell the TV and create job for yourself. But we are not a thinker. We never sit down and consider the things around us. The things around us. The things around us. If you are a thinker, in three days you will create a job for yourself. Because the world is full of needs. Suppliers are few.
Have you noticed that most Nigerians are selling women here? Huh? You know, we are the owner of that business in Kenya. Are you aware? Because we have it plenty there, imported by great merchants, and you don't have your importer here. So we bring it to you here. Brazilian, we have it. Name it. Woman, grade one, grade two, all the grades. <laughs> the other day I, I saw one of my sons. He looked at something in Kenya that was not in Nigeria. Here you don't eat cow leg. You are full of yourself. Instead of you to go to Nigeria and learn how to cook cow leg. When Nigeria give you cow leg, you will eat your tongue. When they have soaked it for three days and it has swell. You don't eat it. You even scrape your skin of animal. Because you don't eat pomo. So you notice that you people don't know what to do with animal skin. So <laughs> you begin to export animal skin from here to Nigeria. Now it's counting in millions. Everything that is useless where you are is highly needed somewhere else. And that is what is called business. Knowing where it is available and make it available where it is not available. He load container of skin. Container of skin. Take it, one month is in Nigeria. Clear it and then call the people who need the animal skin because we have almost eat all our own animal. You know you, you keep your animal, we eat there. And they buy at a higher price. And then you come back and do that. Stop calling your auntie to send you money. Ask your auntie what is there that I can be sending. And you know sending is so cheap. Is this Aliani or what do they call them? Somali have simplified life. I know someone that his sister is there. All he sell is iPad. Just tell your sister to go to where they sell those iPad. Raise little money. He bring the iPad there. He gain more than 30, 40,000 on one. And you don't need the shop. Your bedroom is the shop. Praise God. And the, your phone is the, is, the, is the online. Praise God. I said, praise God. Yeah. Many years ago, I told mama, I said, if I'm not a pastor, there is a business in Kenya that nobody is tapping into. Then, then very shortly, I saw Somali started top, tapping into it for Kenya. I don't know whether Nigeria has started tapping into it. And I would draw, sit down and create what can work and solve human problem. Because when we want to send money in Nigeria, you have to go and give it to Western Union. Western Union will give you their own rate, which is very stupid. And then they charge you. So I was telling mama, why don't you get somebody in Nigeria? Put enough money there. Put enough here. And then you just talk on phone. You see how now later wave came. You, ha you see how much Kenya are sending from abroad. You know how much it contributed to your GDP. Please think. Think. Everything you suffer, there is somebody suffering it. It's only you don't know each other. When you create a product, you will know them. Praise God. I see grace coming upon everyone Amen. for a coordinated thought. Amen. In your feed of endeavor, in your feed of endeavor, in your feed of endeavor. In Nigeria, we have mobile butchery. It's on the head of the man. Not machine. It's on his head. Mobile butchery. Or butcher. <laughs> it's on his head. You call him, he stop. So someone say, ha ha. Because it's strange. But that's how he is living. You don't see all this police butchery that you see here. No, no, no. It's on the head of the man. He has a knife that is using to hit the, the tree. Pa, 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 pa. Here is me too. Find out he has trained graduate. 
there is dignity in labor. And you create job by thinking. By thinking. By thinking. You create job by thinking. I see a new day for you. Amen. I see someone here getting out of this service and begin to engage his mind in productive thinking. We need to think. We need to think. When you think, you trigger what we call your intuition. There is depth of wisdom lying down fallow. You activate them in thinking. See how many jobs Africa have created for themselves from what they call one a globe. Eh? I know all of you, you know it. You know it's me who will not know it. Because that's what you have been calling to bring food for you. All these things were not there. 20, uh, 19, uh, 1997, they were not there. The world is riding on thinkers. The thinkers rule the world. Now there is a boss that has come out. No driver. Yeah. No driver. You stand by the station of the car and then you press it. The car will come, open the door for you, you enter, you write where you are going. The world is ruled by what? Thinker. By thinker. The world is ruled. There are toilets now that clean you up. When you finish, you press, it clean you up. <laughs> wear your skirt for you, wear your trouser for you, if you want. The world is full of, they, they are thinkers. There are people looking at problem and they don't leave it as a problem. They invent solution. When COVID came out, I saw why it. I said, these guys, they are terrible. When COVID came and was killing everybody, so they were also afraid. You know what they did? They started training dogs to detect COVID. It started with UK. So when you come, the dog do like this. You know you have COVID. Move. <laughs> and all they do was so took. I watched the process. They took sample of somebody who is infected, and put it in a container and kept them there to be sniffing it, to be sniffing it, to be. Sniffing. Dogs. Every time I travel by SGR, I look at that dog. I say this is somebody's job before. But since they will not stop corruption. Dog, dog. <laughs> woman being lost the job to the dog. So they line up the bag, the dog check. Do you know that dog has insurance? Do you know he has a name? Do you know he has rank? Some are sergeant where you are jobless? <laughs> Do you know they are fed according to their ranks? He has taken a job of more than five people. Please think. Say how we think. think. The conclusion is you have the mind of Christ. Amen. The mind that created the whole war. That is called the wealth of the war. He lives on your inside. Sit down and engage in coordinated productive thoughts for increase. For increase. It does not only help in getting more money, it also helps in preserving money. I don't know how you can force a suit on me now that, oh, buy, oh, buy, oh, buy. No. 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 I need house more than a suit. If you are not a thinker, you will buy every jargon that come to the market. Check rich people. They don't go by fashion. They go by value. Rich people. <laughs> they go by what? By value and function. They don't buy fashion. Most rich people don't use iPhone. Are you aware? I study one man in uh, Makilingo, their, their overall boss, East African glass mat. When the man come down, he's an old Indian woman, man, 
If he opens his door, the first thing you see in his hand is his basket. That is his lunch. Then he had one Nokia, Nokia of when my father was not born. Then it, <laughs> it's on his neck. The Nokia was 11,000 then. 11. And he controlled that mighty place. Go stand by supermarket. The basket of rich people are never full. But when Uteno come in, <laughs> he want to oppress everybody with the basket. All the junk, sausage, carrot. <laughs> but check them. What you find in their hand are vegetables. So they won't need dialysis when they are getting old. Hmm? Wafula has arrived. The basket will show. And he rolled it out with excitement. And you know the funny thing? <laughs> he's, coming, he's coming next week. These are my studies, my friend. I studied this when the Nakomat was there. Asian is small basket, hardly milk and some vegetable. He's gone out. But let Africa man come. The wife will be picking this. It's excitement. <laughs> we went for one program, me and mama, and they asked, how many people is living in their own house? There was no hand except one. That's African man for you. As you live here, I release grace upon you. Amen. Your thinking will take you through from now. Amen. That fight with your wife, sit down and analyze. You can't be like this. You can't be fighting like cat. Even the cat we keep at home, they are now friends with the dog. <laughs> oh, you, have, you have not seen where cat and dog has become friends? And then you, the human being, are still in boxing every evening. Settle down. <laughs> what is the problem? Think through is equivalent to pray through. Isaiah chapter 30. So that you see that as you go home. That is actually the text. Chapter 30, verse 7, verse 15, and verse 21. Ask yourself, how many clothes do I have? How many occasions can I comfortably appear without being devalued? So you tell yourself, enough of clothes. There are other things I don't have. I learned from my good friend, Dick and Joel. You can be buy what you like. You can say, this is the latest. Joel will buy when it is time. When I met him, he buys shoe after every seven, seven years. He can go to market, buy five, six, but in the next seven years, sell this is the one that uh, God is wearing. That is up to you. <laughs> he will not attempt. This one that everything that pass, you must buy. When will you save for your future? For the Egyptian help is in what? In vain. And to no purpose. Therefore, I cry concerning this. What did he cry concerning? Thinking. Their strength is to what? Sit still. Their strength is to sit still. How many of us really sit down and you are not talking to somebody in a day for 30 minutes? Just sitting down, relax. How many of us wake up on our bed and the next 10 minutes we think through before we enter the day? Don't walk with your hand. Walk with your head first. Verse 15. Look at verse 15. For thus said the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest shall ye be saved, in quietness and in strength. Sorry, in, in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. You sit somewhere quietly. 
You drive to the sea and then pack your car, get down in one isolated place looking at the sea and look through your life with paper and biro. You know, I faced the exam because I was smoking bangi in school. You know, I actually married my wife because I, I want to con her. You tell yourself truth. You are alone with the river. <laughs> and then by the time you rise up, you rise up with a decision. Amen. That from now, well, I hear you say they go to a beach and they still behave stupid. No, go to the beach and estray yourself before God. You go to the beach with your paper and biro. This area, I am wrong. That area, I am wrong. And I have continued with this wrong. No wonder there is no change. Then you draw a prayer point. Lord, help me against this habit. Their strength is in sitting what? Steel. Bill Gates' mother asked him, what are you doing there? He said, mom, leave me. Don't you think? Some people have enjoyed this heart until they say, no, there must be something up there. They call it space. Now there is tourism for, for space. Why you, you don't have house in Musomoroni? Jesus. So breakthrough is a function of thinking through. Rise up on your feet. Think through. Many years ago, every night I must take hot dog and a bottle of Coke. There are many coke addicted persons here. And I realize sometimes you even open the coke, you won't finish it. At another side of my life, I realize in the evening I say, make tea for me. And we don't finish the tea. 1998, I vow. Because I enter our store. I know Kenya, you have a way of killing people with your money. You buy coke then, you drop how many shillings? If you buy with a bottle. Huh? Is it ten? Is it ten or twenty now? Uh, so every day we enter, we won't remember to carry bottle. So we buy. So I enter our store and see the bottle of Coke I have consumed, and I don't have share in Coca Cola. <laughs> Mama is here. I vow, nineteen ninety eight. Especially when I read that every cubic of every Coke you take, you take 32 cubic of sugar. I vow, 1998, and Coke lost its glory. There are things that has become habit. They are no longer benefiting you. Think through. There are habits that are no longer benefiting us. We need to think through. As we break our fast today, I wanted to keep you here till one because you have been looking at the bread. To <laughs> but let me release you now. As we go home, please, as the way I encourage you to pray, to fast, is the way I'm asking you to do what? To think. To think. I was telling one of my sons, you don't live with your wife. So when will you enjoy her? And you are growing old. If your wife can't join you, go and join her. Somebody say, why, why, why? Say, we they have children. Okay, who is raising the children? Our children are our legacy. If you don't love your wife for staying with her, you have to stay for the sake of the children. Those are your definition tomorrow. You can't run away. Even when you die, it will still haunt you. You see an elderly man who is as old as Kibaki says he's the son of Kibaki. <laughs> it's a problem that Kibaki never resolved. He's as old as Kibaki. But he says he's the firstborn. So, so the man have died, the wife, the other wife, everybody have died, but the man says I have not died. 
And you know why he's saying that there's 15 billion in there? <laughs> there's 15 billion somewhere. In that case you are looking at, if he has his leg, their name may be carried out. Think through. Love your wife. If not for her, for the sake of your children. Love your husband, if not for him, for the sake of the generation that is coming behind you. Please think through. I pray over your life today. In your thinking through, you begin to experience breakthrough. Amen. I told a woman, he said, I said, I said, move out of that house. He said, Papa, you know I can't move. I have so many luggages. I have so many things. No, nothing will contain me except three bedroom. She's not working and she has to look for 20,000 to pay the rent. I said, madam, let me help you out. I can think through your problem. Sell all those things and keep the money in the bank. When you have a bigger house, you go and buy. Rather than to be straining yourself to look for 20,000. Thank God she listened to me and looked for a railway house, which cost 7,000. Somebody said, Pastor, can you do that? Yes, I've done it for myself. Please think through. Amen. That you can afford it today doesn't mean you should buy it. There is a place called tomorrow. And nobody knows it. We only know it by faith. So save towards that area. Come on, say I hear. Lord, put your right hand on your head. Where it is meant to it's not completely spiritual. I decree over your life that from now till Jesus come, you'll be engaging in productive thinking. Stop on worker. As you sit on your table, you will find a solution. Children, you will find a solution. On your health issue. I was told not to eat this, not to eat that. And I asked myself a question. Is something they say, as you know, it's not everything. So let me comply the one they say my body can no longer take. Father, I thank you for the number of years you have taken it. <laughs> the number of years he has allowed it. So, but there are other things to eat. I'd rather be eating them. <laughs> what did that man told us? We normally meet when we go for jogging in the morning. It's a rich man in this town. And we find him alone, jumping. He said, eh? He said, Pastor, it's not convenient. <laughs> but I have to take it out by myself. Otherwise, the <laughs> doctor will take out with injection. <laughs> Very rich man, owning estate in this town. Sometimes you find him in the sea. Early morning, he sat down there, scrubbing his body with the sand. And then he swim. He showed he show us another place. See, there is a hill down there. And truly, there was a good hill. When I do fall there, all my nerves <laughs> I'll be breathing hard. Say, Pastor, if I don't take it out by myself, Doctor will take out with injection and with plenty money. <laughs> Nobody loves jogging. But if you think, I think jogging is easier than injection and drips. Don't let your hunger begin to fail before you begin to reduce yours. Don't say it's our family. Those of you who know me, you know I'm times two of this. And it's not anything. It's excess food. Hot dog. Pizza. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, no, no. I want to live long. I want to live long. And no hour. Except sleep come. Please think through. I know your white woman. I know when you get to say, don't mind pastor. Tell him I will mind pastor. I don't want to be a widow. Praise God. 
Heavenly Father, I pour out my heart to these wonderful people. No one will carry disease that will be draining your finance. Amen. Your organs will not fail. Amen. I speak every existing ailment. I curse you from your root in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter the name of the disease, I subdue you under the authority of my proclamation because I made it with the authority of Jesus. I declare whatever is called disease in your body. Oh, every seed that is growing to culminate in, in cancer, I cut short their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Brain tumor, I curse you in the name of Jesus Christ. As you live here, you become a productive thinker. Amen. A productive thinker. Amen. A man that borrow car to come and toast you. If you think through, he will borrow many things. Until he borrow you out. Father, I charge their brain from today. Amen. That they will know their dignity is not whom you marry. Amen. It is your destiny that you refine. Go forth and prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Excel in all that you lay your hand to do. Every treasure that is around you that you have not been noticing. Begin to notice them. In the name of Jesus Christ. What a glorious service. What a glorious service. Go and look around your house. There are things you don't need. Put them online and sell them. And raise finance. Put them where? Online and sell them. And raise finance. A white man was living early just last week. And he put the whole house. And call it a sale. And people were going there. You pick knife, you pay. He has a car, RAV4. 500,000. Your house can generate the money you are looking for. I commit you to God. Amen. I hear the sound of abundance. Amen. I hear the wave of a new glory. Amen. You will not be out of that glory. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. If today is your first day of fellowshipping with us, you have never been here, I'm about to invite you to pray for you. But first and foremost, in case you are here, you are not born again. Salvation is free. Nobody asks you to come and receive Jesus at a cost. Think through today and receive Jesus. It's for free. If you are here, you are not born again. I would like to pray for you so that you can receive Jesus. Those of you online who want to give your life to Jesus, the hour has come to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If you are in this great assembly this morning, you are not born again. I want to pray for you. All you need to do, just lift up your hand. You want to give your life to Jesus wherever you are. Let's see your hand up so that I can pray for you. Don't keep quiet. Nobody will challenge you. Just lift up your hands. Those of you online, let me pray with you. Say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for today. I am a sinner. But today, I come unto you, Jesus. Forgive me my sins and my trespasses. Write my name in the book of life. For I confess that you are the son of the living God. That you die and you rose from the grave. For my sake, I subscribe to the work of Calvary. And I'm born again. Thank you. In Jesus' precious name. The banner that is displayed right on your screen is our contact. And the next one is the address of our place of worship in different locations. Feel free to worship with us in any of our branches. And also, if, there are, if our churches are not around you, please look for a Bible-believing church and begin to go to church. It is well with our soul. Now time has come for us to break our fast of the seventh day. I thought you would put your hands together.
One of the things we are contacting from today's communion is Jesus' kind of brain. Brain that think through. The Bible says he himself knew what to do. He processed his result. Today, as we partake of this communion, no mountain will be too high for you to climb. Amen. Let me hear your louder amen. amen. You will think your way through to excellent life. Amen. Can I hear a believing amen? amen. The kind of breakthrough that no one has enjoyed in your family. That is what God will begin to make happen for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The communion is blessed. In the name of the Father. And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. As we break on the seventh day. We signify completion. And the eighth day has a revelation of a new beginning. Let everyone wake into the newness of life Amen. in another dimension. Amen. Thank you, faithful father. He took the drink and blessed it and said, this is, my blood, this is my blood shed for you for the remission of your sin. He said, body lay has prepared me. So he broke his body. We have absolute control on our fleshy activity. Walking in a place and everything they say to you, you rebel. That spirit is dead. Amen. Receive grace for tolerance. Amen. Every wealth come with a price. Amen. Ability to pay the price, receive it today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Take your seat as the stewards go ahead and serve the communion. Precious Jesus, you are I thank you for your blood, precious Jesus. I thank you for your body broken for me. Oh, cause I.
Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and just appreciate the faithfulness of God. Thank you for what you have heard today. Thank you for an understanding that has been granted unto you. A new you is imagined. A new experience is on the way for you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Don't forget to join me tomorrow morning in empowering your week voice of restoration morning glory service. Time is 5.45 a.m. And this Thursday, we'll still be looking at one of the pillars. How many pillars have we covered now? We have covered walking, walking, I think we'll be a Ghanaian to get it right. We have covered working, and we have covered walking, and we have covered thinking. Please get the series so that when the oil is coming, he anoints you to fulfill all that is required for your giving to have many. Praise the Lord. Don't forget the marriage blessing of Brother Roger Malobi and Sister Annette. Kriga, Kriga, come on Saturday and I've invited, I personally invited all of you. Praise God. I said praise God. End of the month of May, Thanksgiving is coming up also coming Sunday. So it will be a combined Thanksgiving session. As you go, the Lord go with you. Amen. Here are my recommendation. The first 10 minute think in the morning. Pen some things down. Create time in the afternoon to think. And create time in the night to think. Until it becomes your habit. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. You will testify that the change has come in your life. The Lord bless you. The Lord prosper you. Let's rise up on our feet. Those who are fellowshipping with us for the very first time. You are welcome at the beginning of the service. Wave your hand wherever you are. Today is your first Sunday with us. Let me see you. God bless 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 you. Carry your bag. And whatever you come with. Carry your bag and everything you come with. And come forward. I want to pray for you. Wherever you are. Keep on clapping. Keep on clapping. Pray to champagne. The Lord will meet you at the point of your need. He will restore your life to dominion and power, honor and dignity. That's what it says in you. God bless you. What a joy you have had the word of God today. Thinking is like planning. When you think, you secure the future or you assess the future before it comes. What I joy, two of you here are very young. I pray you put this into practice. That you think before you take a step. The Lord bless you. The Lord prosper you. Church, I'm sure you are happy to see them. <laughs> House of joy, put your hands together for them. <laughs> Heavenly Father, thank you for these wonderful people you brought our way today. Thank you for the word which is your word that they have heard. Let it find a place in their heart. Amen. Let it be one of the guiding principles of their life. Amen. And Father, as they engage in thinking, Amen. let them find a place of forgiveness to themselves. Amen. And let them find a place of forgiveness to others. Amen. And let them receive grace to move ahead. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. You see our pastor? Please follow her. God bless you. God bless you. Make sure you are clapping. Make sure you are clapping. Let's share the goodness. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. The Lord God is our son and our sheep. He will give us grace and glory. No good thing will we hold from us as we walk uprightly. We are restored to power, to dominion, to honor, and to dignity. Amen.
Let me congratulate yourself. But if you look too far like you didn't fast, uh, you can change your mind. Okay, let me just congratulate you. Congratulate you. I thought you would be like.